Welcome to Cyberary IT. My name is Greg Stewart and I'm your local subject matter expert for Linux Plus. I've been using Linux for a long time now and I've really enjoyed it. It's free, it's easy to download and easy to install. So this course is going to prepare you not only to take the test um, and get your Linux Plus certification, but it's also going to help you to understand how to use it in a day-to-day -day scenario, how to use it in, a, in, in the real world at a job site with a client, but also just technically how to use it at home on a laptop or a desktop computer. Linux is pretty much tied into just about anything out there today. Cell phones, different uh, handheld devices, cars, uh, TVs, you name it. There's Linux out there in just about everything today. So it's really important to the computing process and it's used it's used to widespread. So this is your introduction to Linux Plus and I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself. So again, like I said, my name is Greg W. Stewart. I've been in the IT industry for about 16 years, uh, maybe a little bit over 16 years, and I've done everything from private sector work to intelligence community and federal government work, mainly consulting, uh, some help desk stuff when I first started off. Uh, we all start somewhere, start answering phones and resetting passwords. And now I'm senior consultant for a, a large software vendor in the DC metro area supporting federal clients. So. Uh, if we were in a regular classroom setting and uh, I was your instructor, I'd, you know, we'd all get a chance to introduce each other and go through kind of our background, who we're working for, or what kind of work we've done in the past, our experience with Linux. Um, and then at the very end, kind of a fun fact, just to get to know each other a little bit better and to kind of help you feel more comfortable with your instructor and your classmates. Well, since we're not actually in a classroom and sitting face to face, but I thought, you know, it'd still be fun to share a fun fact. So a fun fact about myself. I was able to meet President Bush, uh, George W. Bush, at one point in time, uh, working at one government agency. And uh, the the funny story is that I was I went down to the cafeteria of this agency and saw that President Bush was coming. He had all the Secret Service there. He was going to give a quick speech there in the cafeteria. They set up an impromptu stage, and um, I realized you know this is you know this is towards the end of his presidency. This is my last shot to try and get his autograph. So I scrambled back up to my office looking for anything that I could get him to sign that was interesting or would make a good, you know, uh, a, a good memento. And what I found was a Time magazine with his cover on it. And it looked like uh, it was black and red, almost kind of looked like it had a communist feel to it. Um, and I grabbed it anyways, flipped to the article about Bush, and there was a really, actually really nice, you know, painting of Bush on one full page. So I snagged it, ran down there, folded it back to that one page, and Got through the uh, Secret Service line. They waved. Uh, President Bush actually waved me through. I was one of the last people trying to get his autograph, and he walked up. Introduced, I introduced myself, and he introduced himself, and we shook hands. And I said, "Would you please autograph this?" And he said, "Sure." And he autographed it. Really down to earth guy. Then he looked at it and couldn't understand where this painting came from. So he flipped it over, and saw the cover of the Time magazine. And the Time magazine said, "What did Bush get right?" question mark. So that was kind of a, that was a little bit of an awkward situation. He just kind of laughed and handed it back and I told him I thought he got a lot right. So that was just kind of a fun fact about me. I, I enjoyed meeting President Bush. I actually went on to meet his father at the uh, White House Easter egg roll a couple of years later. That was great. But uh, that's just a little bit about me. You know, my, my background with Linux. Um, I started using Linux probably eight, eight or nine years ago. Started off as a um, uh, it was it was mainly the kind of same time frame that I started using VMware. So building virtual machines, there was a lot of the, the clients that we were supporting at the time. They wanted to test out SNMP version three, and uh, they found that a good way to do this was to just build a whole bunch of VMs. So I was cloning uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux VMs. I cloned probably 120 of them, tore them down, built them back up. And then it turns out when people knew that VMware was working and they could just pretty much get anything they wanted. They started uh, requesting a bunch of different distros of Linux. So, you know, I was building uh, Fedora machines, CentOS, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, um, Ubuntu, all, all different kinds of distros, really. And uh, it's just, it was really simple, easy to download. The only one that's a little bit of a snag is Red Hat, just simply because it's required. You have to purchase it. You have to have a license for that. Um, but it's uh, it's it's been good. It's good to work with. It helps, helps me to understand a lot. I've... Uh, convert it into being a Mac person. I use all Apple products, phone, computer, uh, desktop, laptop, everything. And uh, it's all basically written on a Linux kernel. So the terminal window that's in Linux, I'm sorry, that's in the Mac OS X, 
when you go and open it up, it's actually it actually looks very similar to a Linux kernel. And the commands are pretty much the same, changing directories, listing files, et cetera, et cetera, changing you know, file modifications, ownership. So that's really been helpful to have this uh, skill set to as a, as a baseline to help me understand. So um, a little bit about some of the IT, IT certifications I do have is the uh, IDLV3 Foundations, the CompTIA, both Security Plus and Network Plus, Certified Scrum Master, a little bit more on the project management side for that one. But then I'm also a VMware certified professional, um, data center virtualization, four or five, uh, infrastructure as a service, and VCP cloud. I'm currently working on my advanced VMware certification, the uh, VMware, VMware certified advanced professional in data center administration. Um, I've also been given the VMware V Expert Award um, from 2011 to 2014. We're waiting on the results for 2015. Well, that's just a, a way for VMware to recognize who's kind of giving back in the community, writing blogs. I do write my own blog. It's vdestination.com. That's V as in Victor, destination.com. Um, and if you get a chance to check it out and you're inter interested in virtualization, it's a good, good place to go. There's a lot of good information there, a lot of background on the certifications, how to take the exams, how to study, et cetera, et cetera. It's a pretty hot certification to get, uh, not, not unlike Linux Plus. Um, and then uh, last but not least, the NetApp Certified Data Management Administrator, or the NCDA. That's a, that's a little bit of a typo there. It's supposed to be NCDA. Um, that was a good one to get to. I was doing a lot of storage and needed to get some more uh, background in the, how NetApp worked and kind of the storage, how it tied in. So I did a boot camp and got that certification. And it was good. And uh, all these certifications that I have taken so far have been extremely helpful in my career and I hope that this certification for you also will give you that a boost in pay or a, a promotion or basically just more more knowledge that you don't currently have so and if you do have some knowledge already on Linux this would be a good refresher and kind of get your uh, get your brain back going on Linux and get you in that right frame of mind so then I wanted to take a few seconds just to talk about you so I mean obviously you're not going to respond to me because this is a recording but we're not sitting across the table from each other in a classroom, a uh, lecture classroom, but just wanted to kind of give you an opportunity to get in the mindset of this class of why are you here? You have to understand why are, why are you here, otherwise it's just a big waste of time. Um, if you're just, you know, casually browsing, that's not, I mean, you're not really going to get much out of it. If you're interested in getting the certification, or if you just want to learn more about Linux and, and get a baseline knowledge, this is a good place to start. So you have to ask yourself, why are you here? Okay, and uh, what, what do you expect to get out of this course? You want, are you strictly taking this course to get the certification? <laughs> if that's the case, then you're also going to get the added benefit of understanding Linux better because you have to study hard for this exam. It's fairly difficult. It's two, two tests, and we'll get more into the exam details and how to prepare, um, etc. Uh, later on in the course. So uh, there'll be a whole module based on the exam. And then how do you plan on using this course in the real world? Is this something that you're currently using in your infra in your infrastructure, in your enterprise? Is this something that your bosses or superiors have kind of uh, pushed you and prodded you a little bit to get more some, some more experience? Or did uh, they just buy a bunch of Linux or download a bunch of Linux and they're wanting you to implement it? How do you plan on using it? If you're just going to use it in your home, uh, home lab or on a Ubuntu desktop or laptop, or now they have the Ubuntu phones out, um, this is uh, still good to understand the file structure of Linux, how printing works, et cetera, et cetera. So you kind of have to understand these three questions to fully get um, a good return on this time investment that you're making in this course. So that's it for the introduction. Again, my name is Greg W. Stewart, and uh, I will be uh, your captain on this journey throughout the rest of this course. And uh, as, uh, as always, you can get uh, more information on different websites. You can Google Linux Plus and you'll see a wealth of information or the exams. You can find a wealth of information. If you just go to Ubuntu.com, that's where you'll find a, a bunch of good information as well. So without further ado, now that the introduction is over, let's get, get into some of the um, more in-depth technical uh, lectures.